Here's Bush Mallow on the hillside in all of its glory. Flowers are open, waiting for the pollinators. Malacothamnus is the genus name. One of the features of the mallow family is really fuzzy leaves. Here's the top of the leaf. You can see it's palmate. Looks like the geranium in your garden. That's the top of the leaf. It's also very fuzzy, but even fuzzier is the under part of the leaf. You can see the veins loaded with little tiny star-like clusters of fuzz. That helps preserve moisture with little pores on the bottom of leaves that allow oxygen and carbon dioxide to be exchanged. And also there's some water loss with those little openings. The little hairs underneath help reduce the number of water droplets in the plant. If you look up close with a hand lens, you can see that the fuzz is star-like. It's like a burst of tiny, tiny hairs. It's called stellate pubescence. And that's a common feature in members of the mallow family, which includes cotton and the state flower of Hawaii, hibiscus, all in that same family. has a special flower. The flower has a nice, beautiful combination of petals. Here, this dried up part, that's yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So you can see how this plant is constantly in bloom. It bloomed well last week. It's going to bloom well next week. And it's doing just fine now. It's a bisexual flower. These little reddish structures are pollen producers. This structure in the middle, which I'm having trouble finding, is the female structure. So let's get some of those anthers out of the picture. What's left should be the stigma. That little stem that held the anthers and the stigma is called the style. So this structure right here on the top is the stigma, the female part of the flower for receiving pollen. Let's look at the ovary. This is the ovary, which will ultimately become the fruit. It's got five little chambers in there filled with seeds. Very small, really small. When this thing matures, you'll have seeds inside that fruit. Here's an older flower. You can see the petals are all dried up. Pull the petals off. Remove the calyx. That's what's protecting this thing. And you can see this little structure here at the base is, oh my goodness, that was a little maggot sitting on top of the ovary. Okay, here's the ovary. If we can get these little sepals off, we can see if we can find the ovary has five parts inside. So this is bush mallow here on the hillsides in the San Diego region as a very common shrub. Does well after the fires come through, comes up from the stumps, not quite sure if the seeds uh, are stimulated by the fires or not, but fires don't damage the populations of bush mallow. They, in fact, increase after the fires. Beautiful addition to the chaparral and coastal sage scrub in the foothills in the San Diego region.